It feels a little wrong to use this word, but look at how juicy these nudes are. So juicy. Hello and welcome to this entry of the Nail Journal. In today's video, I'm going to be swatching some new nudes for you. Mouthful. <laughs> but I've got some new nude gel polishes that I purchased recently with my own kashish. This video is not sponsored, but the focus is going to be on these DND Duo polishes where you get a gel polish and a free traditional nail polish included. Now, this is from their new, um, well, recent Sheer Nudes collection that launched earlier this year. I've been dying to try the collection. There's 30 shades. So I chose five, which I'm going to be swatching for you today. The first one is going to be this color called Nude Escape, and it's this very sheer pinky sort of French pink color. Just showing you the difference between the brushes for the polish and the gel. The gel polish brush is like shorter and wider. Um, and it's very nice to work with both of them are to be honest because i did swatch both um just for my own personal viewing um but i just hope that you'll trust me when i say that these colors are exactly the same as polishes and as gel polishes so that's two coats for this one and here it is in natural light and artificial light continuing the theme from my previous videos but that color is really pretty would be really nice um as the base for a french manicure next up we've got the perfect nude which feels like quite a claim, but as you're about to see, it is very pretty. I don't really know how to describe this color because a lot of them are obviously very similar being sheer nudes, but they're also quite different at the same time. Like this is kind of like a, a purpley pink with, it's like a, like a dusky nude shade. And it's this really nice sort of uh, buildable, like creme, like combo between a creme and a sheer and would you just look at this it's so pretty i mean it's pretty close to perfect i would say moving on we've got tea time which is this really nice purpley pink again lots of lots of purpley pink vibes going on here guys i went on the D, &D website and i was just looking through a bunch of swatches they're actually pretty good for swatches i have to say um, they work with a lot of different people who did her nails um, who's also a youtuber um, has swatched a bunch of their polishes and Karis Nail Art, also a really great person to follow for swatches, I think I've mentioned before. But this, this colour is really, really pretty. Again, just like, look at how lovely that like, self level is. It's nice and like, not streaky. Love it. Next up, we've got Lavender Loss, which is, I'm trying not to have favourites, but I do love a milky gel polish. And again, this one is similar in that it's that combo between like a creme and a sheer and you expect it to be like streaky. I was expecting it from the first coat to be streaky, but look at how nicely the second coat then self levels. I am curing for 60 seconds between each coat guys, just to let you know. Um, and these are thin coats, but like, look at how beautifully that self levels and just how stunning that color is. It's a really nice bridal shade, I'd say actually. But yeah, here are the first four shades that I just, um, I just swatched for you. And I'm gonna show you the fifth shade that I chose, which is called Pray for Peach. Now, it was really hard to choose which shades I wanted from this uh, collection. I saw this one, and as you can see, the swatch is gorgeous. And if you've watched my previous videos, you guys will know that I love me a sheer peach nude. But when it came, I took the brush out of the bottle and I was like, mm, this looks very opaque. I don't know about that. And then of course, <laughs> I put it on my nail and it looks nothing like the swatch. Now, I don't know if this is from a different collection and they sent me the wrong one. I'm not sure what happened, but yeah, not a sheer nude. So I decided I would swatch my very new bottle of bubble bath from OPI instead. And even though this isn't quite as accessible as the DD &D polishes and you don't get a free nail polish with it, you can get the nail polish version of it. So it does, it does still kind of count, guys. It's obviously just more on the premium side, but it is a gorgeous shade and it is one of their like iconic shades people love them some bubble bath i used to i used to get it when i would very rarely go to the salon it would either be red nails or this one um or something similar but it's just a really pretty like buildable um you know like a, almost like sheer again it's that like cross between like a it's like a diluted creme basically but it's just it's just so gorgeous I wasn't happy with the two coats though, it still felt a little teeny weeny bit streaky, so I went in with a very thin third coat, and I'm glad I did because I was very, very satisfied with the finished product. And here it is, under natural light and artificial light, 
and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys all five shades under natural sunlight. How stunning are all of these? Moving on, we've got the Builder Gels. <laughs> so I've been having a, maybe a little bit too much fun buying all of this nude stuff, but I didn't have any um, nude builders in my collection and I randomly stumbled upon both of these on Amazon. I decided to get this dark pink first and I've actually worn it in a couple of videos and I've got some comments on it. So that's the one that I was wearing. And then I got this lighter pink, I think about a month ago. Now these builders are so lovely. They wear really well. I've worn both of them for over three weeks. I actually need to soak off this light pink that I have on at the moment. I'll show you guys me rebalancing it here. This is just a quick little peek before I went in with the red that I have on at the moment. Um, but yeah, as you can see, they're like super easy to work with. They self-level beautifully. I mean, you guys know I love their top coats. So I wasn't surprised. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys um, these two shades just in case you're looking for some affordable builders. I hope you like them. Hello, hello. Just popping in at the end of the video to say a quick thank you to you all for supporting my video whichever way whether it's viewing sharing commenting like all of it makes such a huge difference to this channel and what i'm able to do on this channel and the stuff that i can film for you guys and because of all of your amazing support i've just been able to upgrade my desk lamp which might sound like small to some of you but it's massive it's huge i mean i've had the same lamp since 2020 so um yeah i just wanted to say thank you so much and hopefully i can continue to upgrade you know, my setup so that I can keep bringing you guys better videos. Um, thank you. And let me show you the lamp. So I think I've shown you guys this lamp before that I bought back in 2020. It's just off Amazon. Unfortunately, they do not sell it anymore. Otherwise, I would link it. But it served me really well. Um, I just wanted and kind of needed something, one that would cancel out the need for two sources of light at either end of me and also that wouldn't take up as much space on my desk. I mean, this one is pretty light. So it's great. And like I said, I'm not going to get rid of it because you just, you know, it doesn't hurt to have it. Um, but here is the new lamp. Look at this thing. Just look at it. It's so good. And it's similar in that it's got two different, I think it's got two or three different light settings, both of which I love. This is probably the one that I would just use. Um, and as you can see, it's a, yeah, it's a pretty good source of light. Let me come around this way. So this is like the view that I will now have. And as you can see, it's pretty damn good. So yeah, thank you guys so much. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in my next one.